Unit One: Simon's Instrument. Simon wanted to buy a musical instrument, so he stopped by a music store. He was excited when he went into the store. He saw drums, guitars, flutes, and many other kinds of instruments there. However, his feelings soon changed. All the instruments were too expensive. Then he had an idea. I know," he said. "I'll make my own instrument." Simon found two paper plates and some glue. He also had string and some bells. First, he glued the paper plates together. Then he made holes around the plates. He tied the bells to the holes with the string. Finally, he drew faces on the plates. He picked up his instrument. And shook it. It made a wonderful sound. Unit two. Congratulations. Lincoln Middle School. Dear Ken, Thursday, November fifth. Congratulations, Ken. You were one of our top picks for the Lincoln Tigers. From what we saw on the court Saturday, you seem to be quick on your feet. Our first team practice is this Monday, November ninth. It will start at four p.m. and last about two hours, depending on the gym schedule. Our first basketball game is scheduled for November twenty-first. Get ready to work hard and have fun. If you have any questions, please stop by my office. I'm usually there in the afternoons. See you on Monday, Coach Park. Unit three. Helen Keller. Helen Keller was born in 1880. At a young age, Helen caught a fever. As a result, Helen became both deaf and blind. However, she went on to live an amazing life. After her fever, it was difficult for Helen. She didn't know how to communicate with people. She could only use smell and touch. A tutor, Anne Sullivan, started working with Helen. This changed Helen's life. Anne taught Helen how to read, and Helen learned how to communicate. After that, there was no stopping Helen. She studied hard. She went on to Radcliffe College, a famous women's school. She even wrote *The Story of My Life*, a book about her life and adventures. Helen Keller taught people to respect the blind and deaf. Unit four: Exciting rides are the best. In the summer, many of the families of Newtown like to go to nearby Funland for fun. Funland is a big amusement park with lots and lots of rides and games. In fact, it has over thirty rides and games of all different kinds. It has roller coasters, water rides, and mazes. People at Funland can also go on spinning rides, drive children's cars, and play shooting and other games. This year, Funland asked the people of Newtown, "What ride or game do you like the best?" Their answers are in the chart above. Clearly, the people in Newtown like the exciting rides the best. Unit five, the man and the penguin. One day, a police officer was walking down the street. As he was walking, he saw a man with a penguin following him. What are you doing with that penguin? Asked the police officer. Nothing. I saw it in the street, and then it started following me," replied the man. "Well, you should take it to the zoo," said the police officer. "Good idea," said the man, and off he went with the penguin behind him. The next day, the police officer saw the man on the street again, with the penguin still behind him. "I thought I told you to take the penguin to the zoo." Said the officer. Oh, I did," 
replied the man. And today I'm taking it to the movies. Unit 6 How a Frog Grows The life cycle of a frog begins with an egg. In the spring, a mother frog lays her eggs. She lays these eggs sometimes up to 4,000 in ponds. After about 10 days, a tadpole comes out of each egg. Tadpoles have long tails and look a little like small fish. They swim around in the water and eat plants in the pond. But tadpoles don't look like fish for long. After about six weeks, they start growing back legs. Their tails get smaller and their legs get bigger. Then front legs appear. The tadpoles slowly turn into adult frogs. This cycle finishes after about 14 weeks when the tadpole finally becomes a young frog. Unit 7. Sally's Morning Every morning, Sally woke up at 7 a.m. to get ready for school. Every day, Sally thought she had enough time, but every day she had to rush to school. Her friend Susie suggested, Try waking up at 6.30 instead. Sally tried this, but it made her too tired. She nearly fell asleep in class. Sally needed a new idea. She asked her mom, Mom, what should I do? Her mom suggested, Keep track of the minutes you spend in the morning. So the next day, Sally did that. Sally counted all the minutes and wrote them down. When Sally finished her morning schedule, she was shocked. Oh dear, she said. Look at the time. I'm late. Sally spent too much time writing down her schedule. Unit 8. Basketball Season Attention all students on teams. Basketball season will start soon, so practices are beginning next week. Boys practice begins next Monday in Gym A, while girls practice will start the following day in Gym B. Remember that all students must have a checkup before joining any sports team. You must be healthy to play. The checkup must be done by a doctor. Don't forget to bring proof of your checkup to your first practice. In addition, students will also need to bring $25 for the sports activity fee. This money will be used to pay for new uniforms, sports lockers, and meals when teams are traveling. Good luck and have a great season. Go Tigers! Unit 9 Heroes Adventure How do I play this video game, Heroes Adventure? First, put your money in. Okay, then what? Now choose your character. What character do you want to be? I want to be the fighter. All right, so push that button. After that, you have to choose your characteristics. My characteristics? Yes. What do you want your character to be good at? For a fighter, strength is probably a good idea. Okay. I'm choosing strength and health as my top two characteristics. That's good. So you'll be powerful and live a long time. Now what? You're all done. Now just press the play button to start playing. Use the red button to punch and the blue button to kick. Here I go! Unit 10. A Shopping List Dear Sally, I have to go pick up your brother from basketball practice. I don't have time to go to the store. Could you please go to the store instead? We are going to make tacos for dinner. They are your dad's favorite. Here are the things we need to buy. One pound of ground beef. One bottle of taco sauce. Three tomatoes. One onion. One half pound of cheese. One head of lettuce. One package of ten taco shells. I left two ten dollar bills on the table. 
That should be more than enough to buy all the groceries. Thanks for your help, Sally. We'll all be home soon. I love you, Mom. Unit 11 An Exciting Lesson I had my first riding lesson. First, before I started my lesson, I gave the horse some apples. My riding teacher told me, Giving an apple is the best way to make friends with a horse. Then I got on the horse from the left side. Never get on a horse from the right side. The horse will become annoyed. My teacher said, You have to kick the horse to make it go. Just give it a gentle kick. Don't worry. You won't hurt the horse. I gently kicked my horse. He started to walk quickly. Then he began to trot. It was exciting, but a bit scary. I shouted, How do I stop? Before you get on the horse, ask the teacher how to stop. Then you will have a great time. Unit 12. A Pink Birthday Monday, June 24th. Yesterday was my friend Beth's birthday. I went over to her house for the birthday party. There were some other boys and girls from our school. Beth was dressed in pink from head to toe. She was wearing a pink dress, pink shoes, and a pink party hat. Her mother made a cake with pink frosting. There was pink lemonade and pink ice cream. Even the cups and plates were pink. Beth opened some of her birthday presents. She got a pink teddy bear and a pink backpack. She was also given pink sunglasses. I felt sad because my gift was so small. It was just a notebook. But when Beth opened it, she said, Thank you so much, Sally. She said it was the best gift because it was yellow. Unit 13. Mother Knows Best Billy learned his lesson the hard way. He caught a really bad cold. He woke up today and his nose is runny. He also has a fever and he is coughing and sneezing. All of this is because he didn't listen to his mother. Yesterday morning, it was raining and cold outside. Billy's mother told him to take his raincoat. Billy didn't listen to her. He was stubborn and didn't put on his raincoat. He went outside into the rain without it. He played outside and got very cold and wet. Now he is very sick. Billy now knows that his mother was right. Maybe next time Billy will listen to his mother. Unit 14. How to Make Tacos Fry one pound of ground beef in a pan. Add some taco spices. Grate one half pound of cheese and chop up one head of lettuce. Put the cheese and lettuce in separate bowls. Chop up three tomatoes and one onion. Put them on a plate. Put the taco shells on a plate. Now, put the cooked beef into a bowl. Put the bowls of meat cheese, and lettuce on the table. Also, put the plate of taco shells on the table. Put a spoon into each bowl. In order to make a taco, put the meat in a shell first. Then, add some cheese. The hot meat will melt the cheese. Next, put in the tomatoes, onions, and lettuce. Put some taco sauce on the top. Enjoy! Unit 15. A Cartoon Sponge Not many people may know of Steven Hillenburg, but his cartoon for TV, SpongeBob SquarePants, is very well known. This cute and funny cartoon takes place under the Pacific Ocean in the underwater city of Bikini Bottom. Talking sea creatures live, work, and even drive underwater cars here. The main character in this cartoon is a yellow sponge named SpongeBob SquarePants. 
He looks like a square kitchen sponge, and of course wears square pants. SpongeBob SquarePants was introduced in 1999. By 2000, it was one of the most popular cartoons on TV. Many people are surprised to find out that Steven Hillenburg was once a science teacher. He knows a lot about the creatures he draws. Maybe this accounts for the show's success. Unit 16. Sam's brother. One day, Sam's father brought home a tree. Sam's father told Sam, "Let's go out to the yard and plant this tree together." As they worked, Sam's father told Sam, "This tree is young like you. You will both grow quickly. This tree is like your brother." Sam takes good care of his brother. He watered it in the summer and took away its fallen leaves in the fall. Now spring is here. Every week, Sam measures the height of the tree and writes it down on a piece of paper. Then he measures his own height and writes it down on the same piece of paper. Is your brother taller than you yet? asks Sam's father. Not yet, says Sam. But one day, the tree will be much taller than Sam. Unit Seventeen: The Score. Ken and the Lincoln Tigers played their first basketball game of the year. That night, Ken and his family watched the sports news to hear about the game. Good evening, and thank you for watching Sports Talk. Well, it was a very exciting start to the basketball season in Newtown today. The Lincoln Middle School Tigers played their first game against the visiting Central Middle School Wizards. Last year, the Wizards beat the Tigers by 25 points. This year, the Lincoln team is much better. At the end of the first half, the game was tied at 42. In the second half, the Tigers played strongly. In the end, the final score was 88-82 for the Tigers. Way to go, Tigers! Unit 18: Sticking Together. Terry's family was a happy family. They were very close and laughed a lot together. One day, they got some terrible news. Terry's father lost his job because the company was closing its office in Newtown. The family was very worried and very sad. Terry wrote this letter to his mother and father to cheer them up. Dear mom and dad, please don't be sad. I know you are worried about the future, but I know that we will be okay. We are a strong family, and we love each other very much. If we stick together, things will soon change for the better. I love you, Terry. A month later, Terry's father got a new job, and everything was okay. But Terry's letter really helped the family get through their tough time. Unit Nineteen Saturday Morning TV. Pete and his father enjoy watching TV together on Saturday mornings. Every Saturday, they wake up early and decide what to watch. However, Pete and his father have different interests, so they sometimes disagree about what to watch. Pete's favorite programs are cartoons and comedy shows, while his dad prefers sports and news programs. Both Pete and his dad also like movies and nature shows. Neither of them likes cooking shows, although that is Pete's mother's favorite. To the right is this Saturday's TV schedule. What will Pete and his dad watch together this week? Unit Twenty: The Red Planet. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. It is about half the size of our planet Earth. Mars is often called the red planet because it looks red. Although it is red, this planet is not hot. In fact, Mars is very cold. In winter on Mars, it can be much colder than even the coldest place on Earth. 
What about life on Mars? Some people believe there might be something living on Mars. Books and movies also tell stories about aliens on Mars. Now robots are on Mars looking for life. They go around, take pictures, and send these pictures back to Earth. No life has been discovered on Mars yet, but the robots keep looking.